Hi, I'm Tim Berglund, and this is Downloading and Installing Datastax Enterprise. Now, people talk about Cassandra like it's so hard to get started. And to be fair, distributed databases are a new thing to most of us. But Datastax Enterprise can make your first 90 seconds easy. Your first step is, as always, to sign into Datastax Academy. It's easy to create an account if you don't already have one. Then go to the Downloads page and download the appropriate tarball. Now, in this case, I'm doing some development on my Mac, so I'll pick that option. Open up the DMG and run the installer. Now, you see here, I'm picking the No Services option, which usually works better for development. Now let's select advanced because, well, we're advanced. Give it an installation directory, and the installer customizes some settings in cassandra.yaml for us. And hey, let's include Datastack Studio. That might come in handy later. Depending on what you're planning on doing, any of these options here might be useful. We'll go with search and analytics to maximize the possibilities for experimentation. Uh, it's a single node, so no vnodes for us this time around. But let's not start services automatically, and let's go for Spark. And no need to change any of those default data directories. Then, let the installer do its thing. It really doesn't take long, but if you want a cup of coffee, you could do worse than to go right now. When it's all done, fire up a terminal and get into the installation directory. Then you just bin DSE Cassandra and you are off to the races. Now see, node tool looks happy and you can run SQL shell and see that it looks like you have a functioning database. So getting up and running is really pretty easy. To dig into Cassandra architecture, operations topics, analytics, search, data modeling, or anything else that you might be interested in, you've got all of the courses on Datastax Academy to help you. But for now, you are free to play.